Hey guys, this is Michael from Conquer Chemistry, and in today's video we'll be talking about what electrolytes are, what strong electrolytes, what weak electrolytes, and what non-electrolytes are, and how do we determine if something is strong, weak, or a non-electrolyte. So simply said, an electrolyte is a compound that when it dissolves in water, it produces a, a solution that conducts electricity. And the reason why a solution conducts electricity is because it contains ions. So there's three types of electrolytes. There's strong electrolyte, weak electrolytes, and non-electrolytes. Strong electrolytes are compounds that dissociate readily into ions, and as a result, they conduct the solution conducts electricity really well. Um, and when you run a light bulb experiment with a strong electrolyte, you're going to get a bright light bulb because the current is going to travel through the solution really well because there's a lot of ions in there. And three, there's three categories for Whoops, uh, there's three categories for uh, strong electrolytes, and those are strong acids, strong bases, and insoluble ionic compounds. So strong acids, you just, you can remember this mnemonic to help you determine if something's a strong acid. It's the, the show CSI on the network NBC, and the seven strong acids are HCl, H2SO4, HI, HNO3, HBr, HClO4, and HClO3. So those are seven strong acids. The strong bases are going to be the element uh, in the first column of the periodic table with hydroxide. So for example, like sodium hydroxide, potass potassium hydroxide, and etc. And then the soluble ionic compounds, uh, you can determine that by using the solubility rules. So those are your three categories for strong electrolytes, and that's because all three of these categories dissociate readily into ions. So as a result, the solution conducts electricity really well. Weak electrolytes are solutions that still conduct electricity, but just not as well. So when you run a current through a weak electrolyte, your light bulb is going to be dim. So you're still going to get light, but the light's not going to be very bright. And the three categories for weak electrolytes are weak acids, uh, weak bases, and then insoluble ionic compounds. And then lastly, non-electrolytes are s compounds that when they dissolve in water do not conduct any electricity. And those are your covalent compounds because covalent compounds do not dissociate into ions unless they're um, acid or bases. So for your typical covalent compounds, they're going to be non-electrolytes. And then when you run a current through a uh, co covalent compound solution, you're not going to get any light. The light bulb's not going to go off because that current's not going to travel due to solution because there is no ions present. So yeah, so those are, that's, that's what a strong electrolyte, weak electrolyte, and non-electrolyte is. And so then next we're going to go into examples. Uh, I got four examples here and then we're just going to go through the examples and determine if each of these are going to be strong, weak, or non-electrolyte. So first example is HCO hydrochloric acid. Well, we should recognize that hydrochloric acid is a strong acid. And since it's a strong acid, it's going to be a strong electrolyte. And then next one, NH3. Um, NH3 is your, one of your most common weak bases. So as a result, since it's a weak base, it's going to be a weak electrolyte. Next is barium sulfate. Um, barium sulfate, if you remember the solubility rules, is actually an insoluble ionic compound. So this is going to be a solid, and because it's an insoluble ionic compound, it's going to be a weak electrolyte. And then lastly, C6H12O6, or just glucose. That is a covalent compound that is neither an acid nor a base, so it's going to be a non-electrolyte because it will not dissociate into any ions. Uh, so as a result, the strong electrolyte, this is gonna give you a this is gonna give you a bright light, and then your weak electrolyte is gonna give you a dim light, and then lastly the non-electrolyte is gonna give you no light. Alright, hopefully that made a lot of sense. We covered what strong, weak, and non-electrolytes are, um, and we covered what each category of strong, weak, and non-electrolyte are, and we just went through four examples. So it really just comes down to you knowing that strong electrolytes are strong acids, strong bases, soluble ionic compounds. So you have to recognize what's a strong acid, what's a strong base, and know your solubility rules. Then for weak electrolytes, you need to know it's going to be a weak acid, weak base, and insoluble ionic compounds. So again, 
knowing your solubility rules to determine what's an insoluble ionic compound, and then um, recognizing weak acid and weak bases. And then lastly, for a non-electrolyte, it's just any covalent compound, so any compound containing solely non-metals that's not an acid or a base. All right, hopefully that made a lot of sense, and if it did, give, it a, give this video a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel because I'll be posting tons and tons of videos that's going to help you with chemistry and help you conquer chemistry. And if you like my teaching style and you're inter interested in individual tutoring, check out www.conquerchemistry.com slash online tutoring. Keep practicing and I'll see you next time.